Are you ready for an emergency? We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, I'm John Liu with H&M Realty Group. Growing up in California, I always heard talks of the next big one coming or that we were due for a big earthquake. More recently, there's been a lot of wildfires in California, and it got me and my friends talking about how prepared we are in case of an emergency. I did some research and put together a survival kit. Now these things go by a bunch of different names. 72 hour kit, battle box, grab bag, go bag, bug out bag, get out of dodge bag, personal emergency relocation kit, quick run bag, or my personal favorite, I'm never coming home bag. Whatever you want to call it, it's important to have one ready so that you're prepared to run out in case of an emergency. Here's what I grabbed for mine. The most important thing is food and water. The CDC recommends that you pack one gallon of water per person per day. Now that's going to be split amongst consumption and sanitation purposes. You think I don't watch internet? Speaking of sanitation, it's important to pack things like toilet paper or wet wipes. We had some left over from when someone was in diapers, so we decided to just pack those. Um, now it's important because you're going to be using these on your skin that you don't get anything too harsh uh, like those Clorox wipes or things with bleach and chemicals. We went with one of the most basic ones and you can find these in most of your local stores. <laughs> in an emergency situation there's a good chance that there's going to be debris and things flying around. So it's important to have safety equipment well, like mask. goggles and <laughs> they also make you look real cool. There's a good chance that the power is going to be out, so it's important to have different types of lighting. Uh, we picked a battery-powered one. And a glow stick. <laughs> and another flashlight that's crank-powered. This one's pretty cool because it has a USB port, uh, so you can charge your devices in case you need a call for help, or if you need to distract someone. Oh! <laughs> shake, shake, shake. <laughs> You never know what kind of situations you're going to be in, so a multi-tool is a good way to prepare for everything. I personally got one with a hatchet, just in case there's a zombie apocalypse and you need to fight till the death. Let's go, let's go, no! Chances are you're not going to have time to grab your wallet and things, so it's important to have some kind of money in your bag. Whether that's cash, card, and you also want to have copies of your ID. Please don't steal my identity. Please don't steal my identity. <laughs> Now a lot of the things okay. in the kits are going to have expiration dates. For example, the food and water in my bag expires in five years, and then the batteries also expire. You should probably put in a reminder in your calendar or somewhere so that you remember to replace those things. The last thing you want is to be in an emergency situation and have things that have gone bad or just don't work. You could also find pre-made kits online. Piecing together everything, mine ended up being about $200. Uh, the what kits online for a four-person bag is about $150. So it was a little bit more expensive, but you see differences in qualities, and you can be a little bit more selective of the things that you want. It's really a personal decision, and it's going to depend on what you need. For example, I saw some people who were recommending putting pace meters and things for measuring energy if you live in a remote location, because you're going to need to walk to town to get help. I live in a suburban area. The goal for my emergency kit is just to survive for 72 hours until help could come. Let me know if you think I missed anything. Again, this is John Liu and thanks for watching.